Hospital. It is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. Whee! Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> Children's ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching, it's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Pepper. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. No. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun. Health check. Today, Pepper is going to the doctors for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Pepper. It helps the doctor see how you are growing up. Ooh! Pepper has arrived at the doctor's. Here is Dr Brown Bear. Hello, Pepper. 
Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. <coughs> and I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr. Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr. Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Peppa. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Pepper is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Pepper's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say... Ah! Uh, uh, Wonderful! Do you want to check my nose? <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> Is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Peppa. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have some questions. OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. <laughs> Everyone loves having a health check. <laughs> Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board 
and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, and realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow, look at him go! Ah! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Trampolines! Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <laughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. I love bouncing. <laughs> I'm bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think I'll have 
have a go. Hey! <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups yeah. are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bounce bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Water park! Peppa and her family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone. Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. And George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the bubble bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! No. <laughs> 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 the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> Wet. Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. Oh, oh, let's do the water slides. Here are the water slides. There's a 
a tiny slide for little children <laughs> and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide! <laughs> <laughs> That's very high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK, we'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig, you can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting! Sorry, I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. <coughs> Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK, here goes. <laughs> 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 Big ginormous slide. Oh, oh! You are brilliant. Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> that was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Pepper. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. 
We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Mountain climbing! Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children! Today, we're mountain climbing! Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too! I've climbed many mountains! Have you ever got stuck? Yes, once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue! They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad! Not again! Sorry! Rescue by a helicopter! Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Peppa is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes. Which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high. George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. 
George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello? What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. Hang on, Mummy Pig. Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun. I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Heaps! Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground and jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 Madam Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. <laughs> And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. 
Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies. Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting Mrs. Badger's farm. Pepper, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels, and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> it is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs. Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs. Badger. <laughs> We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs. Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. Uh -uh. No traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. Oh, I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. 
Hold tight! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Monkey trees. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance... Oops! The wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? The real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Uh. Don't worry. I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Oh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. Um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold-up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. Ah, what's going on? Sorry, everyone. OK, here goes. Whoa! <laughs> I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Ho, ho. Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop, like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> wow, it's too difficult. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. Woo! <laughs> Mummy, Pepper, and George are hanging from the wire. Now what do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. Well done, Daddy Pig. Oh, <laughs> it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> This is the ginormous zip wire. Brilliant! <laughs> this is the last bit. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Peppa and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> head first. Off you go. <laughs> and Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say head first. Head first. <laughs> Off you go. No, there's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit. That was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. Roller disco. 
Peppa and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Why Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Peppa and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Peppa and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, but Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. Oh, round huh. round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go. George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Ah, hello again, Peppa. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favorite song. Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to disco <laughs> town. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Peppa! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute.
shoot. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, the boat bobs, bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobby. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. OK, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! One, two, three, and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. Explanation. I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, 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 pop! 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 Pop, It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. Swimming lesson. Today, Peppa and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. <laughs> OK, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. No. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swimming. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim? No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. 
Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister. Pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now, lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. Ah! I've got water on my face. A little splash of water is fine. But I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, Starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! The inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. <laughs> A slide and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Dinosaur party! Today, Pepper and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George! Dinosaur! Grrr. And hello to you too, Mr. Dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> It is Granny Pig, dressed as a dinosaur. My goodness, Granny Pig, you gave me a shock. Sorry, Grandpa. Didn't I mention I was doing a dinosaur day today? No, you didn't. Granny, why are you dressed as a dinosaur? I'm doing an historical reenactment about dinosaurs with my friends. It sounds like an excuse for another tea party in the garden. <laughs> it's not a party. It's all very serious and based on facts. I am dressed as a Tyrannosaurus. Ooh. And I've made costumes for Pepper and George. Pepper is an Allosaurus and George is a Stegosaurus. Grrr. Here is Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. And what are you supposed to be? I'm a Triceratops. Rawr. Hello. Hello. It is Granny Sheep <laughs> and Granny Wolf. Rawr. Ah, I know what you are, a Brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name these days is a Patasaurus. Wonderful. Well, I'll get on with making the cups of tea. Thank you, Grandpa. Everyone else, 
Follow me. This is how the world looked a long time ago, when there were dinosaurs. Ooh. Let's start our historical reenactment. What do we do? I suppose we just stomp around and roar. Oh. A long time ago, dinosaurs walked the earth. Just like this. I see the party started. It's not a party. Hello. Hope I'm not late for the party. You're just in time. Ah, a cup of tea. Thanks, old chap. It is Grumpy Rabbit. He is dressed as a caveman. Why are you dressed as a caveman? Well, you said it was a dinosaur party. And dinosaurs and cavemen go well together. Uh, actually... Anyway, I'm good at being a caveman. Ah! Uh, 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 I hope you don't mind, but I asked my daughter along to the party. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Hello, everyone! Oh, sorry! It's a bit hard to control this thing. Stand back, everyone! But that's a dragon, not a dinosaur. Whatever! You have to admit, it's good. I suppose it's like a dinosaur. OK, everyone, on with the reenactment. How long is this going on for? Didn't the dinosaurs die out at some point? Yes. 66 million years ago, the world was hit by an asteroid. What is an asteroid? It's a huge ball of rock floating through space. An asteroid would be super. But where can we get one? <coughs> it is Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. I heard you were having a dinosaur party, and I thought I might be able to sell you some stuff. That's very kind of you, Mr Fox. I've got rubber pterodactyls, plastic nodding herbivores. We need an asteroid. It's like a ball. And it has to be very big. I've got just the thing. A giant beach ball. Wow! Perfect. That could be our asteroid. You've got people in fancy dress, palm trees and a beach ball. This is a perfect beach party. It's not a party. And you can't have a beach party without music. This is the best party ever. Peppa loves dinosaur parties. Everyone loves dinosaur parties. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. Squeak! <laughs> to you, Daddy. Yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. 
Please. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super. And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. Canyon country. Peppa and George are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Peppa. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh. Stop! Here is Mr. Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No, this is the desert. Oh, has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago, it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah. If you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George, this was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and oh, miles. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr. Buffalo again. I'm not Mr. Buffalo. I'm Mr. Bison. Ah! Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. 
These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. There's an eagle! Wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Whoa! It's like a bag of mine! That was the best fun ever! Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Wow! Just think, we might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Oh, well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. <laughs> we will. Bye. 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 Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. <laughs> Winter games. Today, Pepper and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. Well, I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. <laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, <gasps> Mummy Pig skied <gasps> down the mountain. <gasps> past the shops, all the way home. <gasps> and she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. OK. <laughs> Let's go this way, then. <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Pepper and George are skiing down the gentle slope. <laughs> Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together, like a long caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono ski. Hello! Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> wow! You're all skiing so well! Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? <laughs> I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> again, again. Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> Stop! Hang on a moment! 
And since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes. Good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! <laughs> what? Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. <laughs> Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah! all the way home. Mummy's going to hit the house again! <laughs> I'm never going to stop! And on to the playground. Oh, Mummy Pig! Mummy skied all the way here backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing! Here is the Winter Games Cup. Again. Oh, thank you. My mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves winter games. Everyone loves winter games. <laughs> Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh. Um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy <laughs> birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grrr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. 
I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Here's a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! Oh, it's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. Cruise ship holiday! Today, Pepper and George are going on holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Will you be OK without Pepper and George for a short while? Yes, I think we'll manage. Bye-bye, Goldie. I will miss you. Have a lovely holiday. And don't forget to call us on the phone. <laughs> bye. bye. Bye, bye. Where are we going, Granny? We're going on a cruise. Ooh, what is a cruise? It's a holiday on a big boat. Like your boat, Grandpa. Yes, but a bit bigger. The cruise ship should be here somewhere. It's there, Grandpa. I say, what a big boat. The cruise ship is a very big boat. All aboard! Welcome aboard the sunny ocean, our solar-powered cruise ship. Unbelievable. May I see your tickets? Thank you. I am Captain Otter. Enjoy your holiday. Please follow me to your cabin. A cabin is a bedroom on a ship. Ooh, a big bed, little bed, television. How civilised. And we can see the sea. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's so nice to get away from everything. Grandpa Pig. Oh, ha, ha. fancy seeing you here. It is Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Yes, what luck. Pepper and George, maybe it's time we explored the ship. OK, then. Au revoir. Toodle, Pip. Pepper and George are exploring the cruise ship. I wonder what we will find. <laughs> George has found a paddling pool. <laughs> you can't paddle now, George. We are exploring. Oh. I can stay here with George. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Grandpa? Let's just keep walking. I say, a jungle cafe, a video game room, a cinema. <gasps> and a lift! This boat has everything. Hooray! Soft play! <laughs> Peppa loves soft play. Whee! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rohan Rhino. I'm Peppa Pig. Have you ever been on a big boat before? I've never been on a boat this big. Peppa, I think we should be getting back now. OK, Grandpa. Bye, Rohan. See you tomorrow. We will just go back the way we came. Oh. Bookshop. Space cafe. This is not the way. I wonder where Peppa and Grandpa Pig have got to. <coughs> Come on, George. Let's wait for them back at the cabin. Excuse me. Which way to the paddling pool, please? Just through that door. Thank you. No, this looks different. I think we're lost. Can I help you? Ah, Captain Otter. This paddling pool is wrong. We have ten paddling pools on the ship. I see. Maybe we should just go back to our cabin. Of course. Your ticket will show you the way. Every ticket has a colour, a shape and a number. Blue, triangle, six. That's right. Just follow the arrows. Blue, this way, Grandpa. Triangle, down. 
Busy! One, two, three, four, five, six. Peppa, Grandpa Pig, wherever have you been? We got a bit lost. But clever Peppa found the way back again. Have some pizza. It was delivered to our cabin. Pizza, pizza! How civilised. I love this cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Everybody loves a cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Danny's pirate bedroom. Peppa is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. Hello. Hello, Danny. Peppa, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. I'll see you later, Peppa. Bye, Daddy. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder... What you are! <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh! The stars are glittery! Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um... On TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, What a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> OK, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me! Me! Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo-ho-ho, ho, yo-ho-ho, ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. Yo-ho-ho, ho, yo-ho-ho, ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. <laughs> we are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever.
Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Charity shop. Pepper and George are helping Mummy and Daddy Pig tidy up. Ooh, there's so much stuff in here. Yes, I'm sure we don't need half of it. What do you mean? Well, do you really need this tuba? Yes, I do. And one day, I'll learn how to play it. <laughs> I just have to find time to practice. Until then, it just sits around with all this other stuff gathering dust. Hmm. I say we take some of it to the charity shop. What is a charity shop? It's where you take things you don't need anymore. And it's all for a good cause. But it's so difficult to decide what to give away. It's easy. You just pick something up and ask yourself, does this bring me joy? If the answer is yes, we keep it. If the answer is no, it goes. OK. So, I ask myself, does this plant bring me joy? And the answer is yes, it does. So we keep it. Yes. <laughs> does this plastic vase bring me joy? No. So it can go to the charity shop. Now it's Daddy's turn. I will help you, Daddy. OK, Pepper. Does this bell bring you joy, Daddy? Yes, it does. What about this cup? That's my football cup. Yes, it brings me joy. Maybe I should help Daddy from now on, Pepper. What about this tatty old chair? I thought we'd given it away already. Pure joy. What about this book? Hard Problems in Logistics, Volume 3. Hmm, that's not a very joyful book. OK, then it can go. Uh... This is fun! <laughs> what a great tidy up! Now, off to the charity shop. See you later! Bye! This is the charity shop. Here is Granny Wolf. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. We've got some things for your shop. Oh, thank you very much. Here is Grandpa Giraffe. I've made the tea. Did someone say tea? Here is Grandad Elephant. Tea? And Grandma Cow. Uh, and old Mrs Donkey. I've made more tea. There are a lot of old people helping in the charity shop. They like drinking tea. Wow! There are so many interesting things in here. Yes, our shop is full of stuff. What do you do with it? We sell it. And the money raised is all for a good cause. Daddy, can we buy something? Well, yes. After all, it's all for a good cause. The great thing about charity shops is that you never know what you're going to find. One week it might be jigsaw puzzles. It's my job to count all the jigsaw pieces to make sure none are missing. There's one, two, three. The next week four, we might get bagpipes. Bagpipes? I've always wanted to play the bagpipes. We'll take them. Daddy, can we buy this wooden bird? Why not? George has found a garden gnome. We'll take that too. The more we buy, the more it helps. And look, we have a complete 20 volume encyclopedia. Wow! What's that? These books tell you everything about the world in 1956. Amazing! Pepper, George, and Daddy Pig have arrived home. Mummy, Mummy! We found lots of things at the charity shop. What? Yes! There was so much amazing stuff there. Look, a complete set of encyclopedia. And Daddy is going to learn the bagpipes. Oh, the room is just as full as it was before. Yes, all thanks to the charity shop. It's the best shop in the world. <laughs> Peppa loves the charity shop. Everyone loves the charity shop. Today, Pepper and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. 
Wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. To you, Mummy Pig. To you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. Okay. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Pepper. What? Disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen Disc. Yes, I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, <gasps> all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes, all the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! Oh, I think it's working. Keep shaking, Daddy. Shake harder, Mummy. Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. Uh, I'm trying my best. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! <laughs> to you, Danny! To you, Peppa! Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Grandpa Pig's Christmas present. It is the night before Christmas at Peppa's house. Peppa and George are asleep. Mummy and Daddy are asleep. Granny and Grandpa are here too. And they're asleep. Who is that? Ho, ho, ho! It is Father Christmas. My last delivery. Oh, why do they have to make chimneys so small? Oof. Oof. Father Christmas is putting presents around the Christmas tree. 
It is very early in the morning. Come on, George! I suppose it's just about daytime. Pepper and George are excited it's Christmas. <gasps> Everybody is excited it's Christmas. Look! Father Christmas has brought presents! <laughs> George has a toy boat. Boat, boat! Pepper has a rocket. Zoom, zoom! It says Grandpa Pig. Open it, Grandpa. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that's just what I wanted. It's a drone. I don't really like the word drone. I prefer to call it a quadcopter. What does it do, Grandpa? What's this? The drone can fly. Ooh. And I can see what it is seeing on the controller. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! It's like a busy bumblebee! Buzz, buzz! <laughs> and how long does the battery last? I don't know. But when the battery runs low, it flies home all by itself. That's clever. At the moment, it thinks home is the North Pole. Because that's where Father Christmas lives. Exactly. Perhaps you should change the home setting before you play with it, Grandpa. Oh, there's plenty of time for that, Granny Pig. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? It means the battery is running low. Here it comes! Yes, all the way home. Hooray! And home is <coughs> the North Pole. Ah, yes. Perhaps I should have changed that. The drone is flying all the way to the North Pole. Oh, what are you doing back here? Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Don't be sad about losing your present, Grandpa. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Ho, ho, ho! Father Christmas! At our front door! Yes, I decided not to use the chimney this time. I had this large present to deliver again. <laughs> My quadcopter! Grandpa Pig loves his drone. Everyone loves drones. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Hollywood! Pepper and her family are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star! George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, 
I'm a potato. And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. Camera, action! Attention, the galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots! Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. Save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? <coughs> Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye! Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The best bit was... everything! Peppa has had a wonderful time in America. Clubhouse shop! Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop! Yay! Shop, shop, shop! shop, shop. shop. The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twip to woo. OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly. Susie Sheep loves her toy owl. Next. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. 
The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have the fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Oh, are they invisible clothes? Yes. They are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a queue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> It is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Ice cream! Here is Mr Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please. Ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> Here is the money. Hang on. These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Fig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams. And one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. <laughs> Everyone loves the clubhouse. America. Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh. Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world, so we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> what does that mean? Yes. It means we're going to America. America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming in to land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. Wow! The buildings are so tall. First stop of the tour, the 
Empire State Building! Wow. wow! Can we go to the top? For sure! Going up! Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look! Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy! Yes! With this telescope you can see even more! I can see a big green lady with an ice cream! That's the Statue of Liberty! Look at me! I miss a Statue of Liberty! <laughs> Come on, people! We gotta get moving! Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving! Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square! Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Ash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. <laughs> Detective Club. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> Let's play detectives. This is our detective club, and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives, and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, oh, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective. Club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh... And I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more! <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car. Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit, 
Can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap. I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic. Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. <coughs> Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help. We've got ourselves a job. To the police car. <coughs> Did someone shout for help? Yes, we've got an emergency. What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. <laughs> Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives. And this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Talking. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Hab Spaß, mein kleines Lama. Das werde ich bestimmt. Ich freue mich so sehr auf mein erstes Mal im Kindergarten. What is that little girl saying to her mummy? Auf Wiedersehen. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Zell. Today we have a new pupil joining us. Her name is Lottie Lama. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lottie. Please make Lottie feel welcome. Yes, we will. Hello, Lottie. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello again. You were talking funny with your mummy. I was talking German. Can you do some more German talking? What shall I say? Say, Hello, I'm Lottie. Hallo, ich bin Lottie. Wow! Do you talk German a lot? Mostly with my mama. She comes from Germany. Ooh. How do you say, I like carrots. Ich mag Karotten. <laughs> How do you say, please open the window. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Yes, that's right. Watch this. Madame Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Of course. Oh, how did you know what I was saying? Because I can speak German. Ooh. If you learn languages, you can talk to all the people of the world. Say something then. Ciao, bambini. That is hello, children, in Italian. Wow. wow. Do another one. Ciao, Peño. Niemand hao. That is hello, children, in Chinese. Do it again. Oi, meninos. That is hello, children, in Portuguese. Madam Gazelle can speak all the languages of the world. Madame Gazelle, can we learn all the languages? Of course. But let's start today with German. And I think Lottie will be a very good teacher. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. The best way to learn is to play. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> OK, I'm going to teach you German. Who is good at numbers? <laughs> Me, look. One, two, three. In German, you say eins, zwei, drei. Now it's your turn. <laughs> eins, zwei, drei. Wow. wow. How do I say, hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> hello, ich 
Ich bin Peppa Pig. <lacht> Hallo, ich bin Peppa Pig. <lacht> It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. <lacht> That's fantastic, Pepper. I know some German words. Bitte füllen Sie mein Auto mit Kartoffeln. Wow! What does that mean? It means, please fill my car with potatoes. Ah, that's why I could never get any petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mama, Mama! Hello, Lottie. How was your first day at Playgroup? It was great. I made lots of new friends. Hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. Wow, you can talk German. Yes, I can. Oh, meine kleine Süße. Du bist aber ein schlaues Kind. Welches ist dein Lieblingswort auf Deutsch? Uh, yes. Peppa loves talking. Everybody loves talking.